Well, this is incredible, people. Here's me thinking they made, what, 10 of these body kits for the cappuccino. Here's the second one. The second one I've seen in like a week. Ah, see me, my hand. Stand there. Let me go. Wow. SSR Mark twos. That is so cool. So cool. G'day everyone, Daniel Legrady here, and would I be correct in assuming we all know what a Suzuki Cappuccino looks like? I think we do, and moreover, I believe it's a very popular and well-loved platform, front engine, rear-wheel drive sports car, it's a K-car, and of your Honda Beat, your Cappuccino, and also the other one. Ah, the AutoZam AZ1. I'm hearing that this is the one that's um, the best driving experience. Personally, I have no first-hand knowledge, and if you do, let me know in the comments below. I'd appreciate your insights. So, it was about a month ago, I was at an event, and I saw for the first time what they're calling a Yoto Chino. And this is how our first meeting went down. My mind is blowing people. I saw this. I saw that. I thought, oh yeah, a, a couple of S800s. It's a freaking cappuccino. It's a cappuccino. So, and uh, he was saying because it's longer at the front, they had to take some some fat out of the bum to, to make sure it stays in the, the key class of car. That's incredible. It's a curious thing, isn't it? Mixing and matching manufacturers like this. Certainly it's odd, I think, for Australia. And there have been like Ford Barra powered Holdens, for example, General Motors car, but a Ford motor company engine. Th these sort of things happen, engine swaps happen across manufacturers, but uh, an old Holden with a Ford Mustang face, for example, that's something that uh, would be hated generally. But here in Japan, it seems they'll give almost anything a go. I mean, how many little Japanese K-Vans have I seen with Volkswagen faces or uh, American school bus faces or Chevy truck or Ford truck or... I've seen a K-Van that looked like a 57 Chev. It seems they'll just give anything a go. And what say you? What do you reckon of the mixing and matching across brands? Do you recall having ever seen any that really popped? And then keeping it within the same brand? I mean, how about this MR2? That's amazing. Anyway, let us know what you've seen. Oh, we are not done, people. There's another cappuccino conversion. Uh, tell me when you spot it. Yeah, that's a little baby cobra. Saw it at a couple of car shows. Yeah, I'm really hoping to speak to the owner of that one and get full access, get all the information because that, that just looks incredible. And with that, the following. Ah, that is legendary, people. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you loved it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week with another Wasabi Cars video. Goodbye.